News that's coming in at the moment from Russia this time. Now, there has been a ten deadly terror attack that took place in Russia. Over 60 people have been killed and 145 have been injured. The terrorist opened fire at a concert hall. The ISIS is now claimed, has now claimed responsibility for this attack. The United States says it warned of the terror attack a week ago. The visuals that you see on your screens are from a concert hall in Moscow. This was a deadly terror attack that took place in Russia. Over 60 people have been killed and 145 have been injured. The terrorist, in fact, opened fire at a concert hall and now the United States of America is saying that they had warned about such an attack a week ago. My colleague Gita Mohan is now joining me on the phone line. Gita, we can very clearly see that, you know, this actually was a huge attack because we can see the the fire that took place at the concert hall and over 60 people dead. Well, that's right. It's uh, one of the most dastardly attacks since the 2004 Deslan school attack. Uh, and uh, while there are reports of ISIS uh, Daesh having taken responsibility, it has not been confirmed and announced by the Russian government officially. So we'll have to wait uh, for what the Russian government has to say. Meanwhile, yes, the U.S. had warned its uh, own citizens not to uh, venture out into crowded places on March 7th. But when asked about any intelligence that they had about this attack yesterday, they said that they had no uh, intelligence uh, uh, in advance with regards to the attack that took place at the Crockett City Hall. So uh, uh, certainly the, that news has become a very important talking point in Russia itself where on the one hand uh, the U.S. is seen uh, sending out warnings and alerts, on the other hand saying that they had no idea about this attack. In all probability, Washington, D.C. meant that they had no specific intelligence on the attack that was to take place at Crocker City Hall. Uh, but uh, yesterday itself, many other important areas in important cities were evacuated should this attack have uh, become beyond just Crocker City Hall to other places. Having said that, right now the situation is still quite dire because uh, photographs of the five, in the five uh, attackers have been put out, but uh, they have not been mapped. There are more than 60 who are dead. The building is uh, uh, partially uh, collapsed and more than 105 have been injured. A lot of people being taken or were taken to the hospital um, with severe injuries as well. And uh, the first video by the Russian Investigative Committee has been put out wherein they are inside the hall, they have received uh, AK-47, they have received magazines, uh, they have received uh, a lot of the things that, would, uh, that their terrorists were carrying on them. And of course they are also pulling out, uh, unfortunately, uh, bodies of those who have fallen victim. Well, Gita, one of the things we understand at the moment is that uh, you know Vladimir Putin has been briefed by the ministers of Moscow also, telling him exactly what took place, how it took place, and I, I also believe uh, you know he's been told exactly the steps that are now being taken. Well, absolutely. Uh, President Putin, for uh, now, has not addressed the country yet. He's not put out a statement, but uh, not so long ago he was indeed briefed by the heads of. Uh, the FSB, that's the intelligence uh, uh, agency, uh, the interior ministry, investigative committee, and uh, by other agencies that uh, have been looking into this entire attack. Uh, Putin was also briefed by the minister for the for emergency services and uh, held a conversation and uh, with with the deputy prime minister uh, of Russia, uh, Prime Minister Tatyana Golikova the health minister and the Moscow uh, region governor. So he is looking at exactly what has happened. He's been briefed on the entire situation, but uh, a statement from Kremlin is yet uh, to be put out. Thank you, Gita Mohan, our foreign affairs editor, for giving us all those details. The visuals that you see on your screens are from Russia, where a deadly terror attack took place at a concert hall. 60 people have been killed and over 145 have been injured.